Ladies and gents, we are going to be kicking off with Team Asta versus Tai Chi Gaming. Sentai Warner Grimstroke already picked up Phantom Assassin and Sanking for the side of Team Asta. Now we do have the Undyne, the Shadow Shaman, as well as the Magnus Razor and Lone Druid ban out by Team Asta. Meanwhile, Tai Chi taking down the Elder Titan, the Earth Spirit, Tusk, as well as the Rubik and Conker. Tusk with that tag team, it's just. It's such a great hero to watch now, um, taking out that sigil, replacing it with the tag team. Phantom Assassin, Sanking, good combination. Phantom Assassin being really strong in the mid to late game. Remaining. In fact, I think one of the premier carries of this meta. Five seconds remaining. Just because of the crits, you know, you get yourself your three early wraith bands. Um, someone like the Magnus, which has been burned out, you can get the Empower off that as well, so you don't even need a Battle Fury, or you get a Battle Fury for extra cleave. And with armor being so precious in this meta as well, with that three armor corruption, you just you roam around the map once you get your crits up, once you get that armor corruption, and you just take fools down. So Tai Chi, do you pick up the Centaur Warrior as well as the Grimstroke? I like that combination just because the Centaur Warrior. Even before he gets the blink and just walk up with the stomp with that ink swell on him from the grim stroke. And it's a whole load of stuns as well as the um, the phantasm coming out from the grim stroke as well. It does a lot of damage. Obviously you need to focus that down otherwise you just get taken down. And even the stroke of fate going through creeps. If you put, put that through a creep wave. I do believe this is going to be off lane. The sentinel run and the grim stroke in the off lane. Uh, you put that through a creep wave, if the Phantom Assassin is standing behind the creeps, you know, it takes the full force of that to the face. It is a lot of damage even at level 1, so the Phantom Assassin needs to be careful about positioning here as Tai Chi. Going into that reserve time for this third pickup. So. Dire team pick. It's going to be the Wisp as well. Ooh, this is interesting. So this is an unbanned wisp. Radiant team pick. Dazzle. Dazzle is the reply from Team Aster. Is there going to be an? Can't really be an axe pickup. As uh, yeah, so it is going to be the gyrocopter, the IO combination there, and like I've been told many, many times before. Gyrocopter on his own isn't the strongest hero, but you put it with the, the Wisp, and all of a sudden it's an unstoppable combo. And uh, Tai Chi, yeah, maybe both teams Ten thinking, you know what, remaining. IO isn't a problem here, it's not a priority ban, so they let it through and they let it Five through, and remaining. he does get picked up by Tai Chi that maybe want to make a name for this IO Gyro combination in this game. Radiant team ban. Jakiro being picked up, that's a hero that I've not really seen in meta for a very long time. And Asta though, maybe got a plan Shire about it. Ban. It's going to be the Medusa final ban by Tai Chi. And where do Asta go? There's still a Husker. Though I'm not sure how effective it is after the 7.20 changes. I hear it's still a really scary hero, but whether it fits the lineup or not, that's something that Aston may want to decide on here. And yeah, the Medusa was the final band, so it is still open. They do have the next Ten pick. Seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. And Aston... What is going to be the final Dyer band? They take out the Pugna, Radiant so yep, team. I'm... It's actually going to be the OD. Yeah, okay. Outworld Devourer is pretty darn strong, to be honest. Like, he wasn't a hero before 7.20, but teams have started to figure him out now. Um, Sky <laughs> and the Skyrath Mage comes out. Just have to see how this one plays. It's good with the amount of lockdown they've got with the Grimstroke and the Centaur Warner, so that Mystic Flurry over the top will be doing a lot of damage. Um, call down as well. Just, there's a lot of synergy between the teams, well, both teams' heroes. Um, but I've got to say, I like the look of Team Master a little bit more, just because I think that Phantom Assassin's really scary. you got the Dazzle to back him up, save his life if he's getting too low. 
if you get some sort of lifesteal with those crits as well, you are going to be throwing damage out left, right and centre. The Centaur Warrunner, as well as the Grimstroke, is pretty strong. You know, the arrow gyro combination is strong as well, but I think the Phantom Assassin can get on top of the Ario and blow him up before the Wisp can really do too much healing. So you've got to be looking to protect that Wisp. So it's going to be Scylla on the Phantom Assassin, and I've got XXS XX, XX on the Sand King, Bubaka on the Dazzle Fenrir on the Jakira, and Lover picking up the Outworld Devara. Tai Chi, it's going to be if you on the Scarath Mage. We've got Mint on the Gyrocopter Dao on the Io. Secular there on the Centaur Warrior, and Bing on the Grimstroke. Prepare for battle. So yeah, it is going to be the you know, offlane se secular and Bing. So if you smoked up, he's got himself a ward here now as well. Lover was in range, but obviously he's not got a ward himself. So maybe he doesn't see the planet. The pings are coming out though. And it looks like we might have a three-man invade down on the bot lane. It is the Io Gyrocopter combination down here. So, Dao is just going to be moving himself back. XSS. The tether comes out onto Min, and now they may be scared away but they do have two heroes the Grimstroke as well as the Centaur Runner just posturing for this top lane rune and they know that the Phantom Assassin is all alone so this could be a two for two trade XXS trying to get himself in close the Tether comes through now as well is there a bow strike there is but it's not going to be in range and it looks like the Io just going to be able to move himself away from this pick up the movement speed there but Mint takes a little bit of harass not going to be the much begins. Yeah, just going to be the trades, as Fenrir does pick that one up on the Jakiro. But Scarath, I want to see how this mid lane does. Scarath Mage up against the OD, especially up against the new OD. It's going to be an interesting match. He's already gone for the Astral Imprisonment, got himself one null Talisman. Actually not opting for a second, going towards the, um, the Stick and Wand first. Yeah, the sentries get taken down almost instantaneously. But Scarath... With the way that the uh, the null tallies work now, Scarath usually stick two or three, maybe even four early null tallies, just so that they can do a whole load of magic damage. Meanwhile, on the bottom lane, Dow's going to be taking a little bit of damage. What's Bobaka skilled up level one? He's actually gone for the poison touch, so I know it will be refreshing. Can he get it once more? It will fade off the top lane, though. It looks like Phantom Assassin could be in a little bit of trouble with Secular being able to posture on this lane with the Centaur War and a right into Silar's face. Silar needs to be really careful about how far forward he does come here. But back on the bottom lane, it looks like it might have been a Burrow Strike. Min might actually go down to this. He's got. Well, he's got 130 health, and there was no Poison Touch coming through. Maybe it comes through just a little bit later on. The right clicks is going to be bouncing onto both of them. The right clicks now is a down now as well, but Sand King isn't in range for that Burrow Strike. And it looks like. The regen will come through from Io once again, popping that salve, and Mint will be back up to full health. The Burrow Strike does come through, but until they can take down Dao, it's going to be Mint taking a little bit of harass, but in the end, it will regen through that. And even the Flat Cannon going to be doing a little bit of damage to the Sand King. Sand King, XSS needs to be careful about how much damage he does take here. Meanwhile, back at the top lane, Bane going to be throwing that feet through. As the Dual Breath. That's such a long name. Stroke of Fate. Let's just stick with Stroke, shall we? He's going to be stroking all over that lane. As uh, Bobica does have the Poison Touch. The Io's not close to the um, Gyrocopter. So this should be First Blood. And Bobica will pick it up with the Shadow Wave. The pull, meanwhile, top lane. Secular does take down Fenrir. And now Sal is going to be trying to throw a little bit of harass onto Secular. With Secular, what does have those Retaliate stacks, as it is now known? So being one point into the Inkswell, one point into the Stroke of Fate. Um, like I say, if Secular walks up, gets a stomp off with that Inkswell on him, the hero is going to be locked down for so long. 
1.7, the stomp, so 3.7, it's actually just going to be onto Ferrier now, it might just be a setup for the stomp, but Secular's not going to be able to get in range, Ferrier does take a lot of damage coming through from that, and now the blink onto Bing now as well from the Phantom Assassin, the dagger flies through, Bing, what's he going to be able to do with the stroke, it's going to be doing a little bit of damage, but the dagger secures that kill, Sala will be picking it up, and now Secular just walks himself back towards the tier 1 tower, back on the bottom lane. Looks like Sun King topping the last hits. Yeah, Gyrocopter has to be careful about how close he comes in because Mint will take a lot of harass just from this caustic finale. As the Poison Touch comes out once again, just zoning out XXS. Looking for the farm. Ooh, Rocket Barrage being used, but Bobica just moves himself away. Does have boots, so his movement speed 360 to the 291. A secular once again takes down Fenrir. Is there going to be a return kill? Sila. Now the salve comes out. Secular should be alive. There's been a DD room for the bot. For the past minute and a half, and again back on the bottom lane, Bubbuka picks up another kill, this time onto the IO. And Min trying to do what he can with that rocket barrage, but he is only level 2 to the level 3 of XSS as well as Bubbuka. Picks up his level 3 now, what does he go for? Not actually picked up anything in the homing missile just yet, just holding that point. So Dar, with the spirits, XSS took a couple of those to the face. The Bobuka with the poison touch, it's actually going to be the shadow wave onto the creeps now as well, so Min will regen from Dar, but he does need to play it careful because 200 health, a Boros Strike from the Sand King, he doesn't have the mana for it, does have the, the stick charges, but uh, probably... Probably didn't want to come too close in, especially when he already had the creep wave pulling up to his tier 1 tower. Bobuka just looking for the XP steal and a little bit of harass there as well. Top lane, are they going to be able to get another kill? Sila's getting pretty darn low. Is there going to be a stroke coming through? It's being charged, but it's off the mark. And now the blink forward, it looks like Sila might want to go for this, but Secular right clicking down Fenrir. He just changes targets now as well. Just forces Sila back a little bit as the pings come through. Bink. <laughs> Tango's, yeah, he's teasing it. It comes through to Fenrir. One more right click, and with the ink swell as well, this will be enough to TP away the right click. Sila won't be able to get a return kill there, and it evens up at three for three, five minutes in. Bottom lane, Bobica. He actually takes both runes as the top runes stay put for the minute. Dab, poison touch. Is he going to be chased down here by Bobica? Bobica does have the, the shadow wave. It comes out with the Boros Strikes there as well, just onto that tether. And XSS does get the, <laughs> the tip even coming out. That was a pretty legit kill. You keep your Sand King right close to the Gyrocopter, so as soon as that tether comes out, you just get the instant Boros Strike, do the damage and find the kill with the Caustic Finale. And I did say I wanted to keep an eye on this mid lane, level 6 on the Outworld Devourer, Bing rotating in now as well. If he's taking a lot of right click damage, the stroke comes through. A lover. Well, maybe not a lover of the strokes. The music's not for everyone. And if you, he's got the harass damage coming through from the concussive shot and the arcane ball, lover does need to be careful. There is a regen, it looks like if you might go for it and be able to get it there as well. He's only level 5, running the double, no tallies. Bottom lane though, is there going to be another kill? The homing missile is going to be onto XXS, it still tracks even through that sandstorm. And the damage from the rocket barrage coming through now as well. I like the change to sandstorm though. He just moves himself about any time he right clicks, you know. It keeps him mobile. There is a sentry that could see him. But yeah, the sandstorm, it keeps him mobile, it means he's not just waiting for... A certain area of a stun to come at you like a stomp this game. Come through just stomps him in the sandstorm in the epicenter of it. Just stops that sandstorm dead. Mid lane. There's a good with the Prismant. The right click's coming through from Lover now as well. He's actually popped the um the new equilibrium. I will remember the name of that soon i promise yeah there's gonna be another imprisonment just keeps him safe from the magic damage if he was gonna be able to do still no mystic flora now the reckless comes out with that salve healing him up concussive shot as well as the bird and the arcane bolt damage it's a base 100 damage every couple of seconds what's that every three seconds and lover 
Just being forced back. The concussive shot is it going to be enough? No, with the one charges. Meanwhile, on the bottom lane, Sansom comes through. Stroke Bubaka does get the kill onto Min, and now Bing is he going to be able to get himself away? There is a Burrow Strike coming through now as well. The Shadow Wave is there enough damage? Bing's trying to run himself away here, but XXS Bubaka still going to be able to get that kill. The Spirit Balls to the face. Dow. Also, guys, in chat, let me know if I'm pronouncing any of these names wrong. I'm assuming it's Dow. If it's any other pronunciation, let me know. Once the five minute delay is up, I'll try and pick that up and correct it. Silo, friend Maria. Just trying to be careful because Silo's not the healthiest Phantom Assassin in the world, and Secular is a big old tanky boy and with those retaliate stacks as well. Could be a lot of damage to the bottom lane, though. Mint is level five, so no cooldown just yet. Meanwhile, XSS has the epicenter as well as a vanguard already working his way towards that blink dagger that's pretty big that's really big if you take a look at the net worth it is yet yeah, sunking 4k net worth right at the top if he wants to come up he's actually gone for three points into the um, Q and W so no points into the Mystic Fleur just yet. Bottom lane though, they might find another kill onto the Jarrow Cutter. Is there going to be a Boros Strike anytime soon? It's nine seconds down. Didn't have the mana for the Epicenter. And well, well Bobica gets a kill. It's actually going to be the Poison Touch, I'm pretty sure, as the Rocket Homing Missile will fly through. Bobica should go down. Does he have the Shallow Grave? He's not skilled this one up, the Boros Strike, but this is going to be the Shallow... Uh, sorry, the Shadow Wave. Not enough to keep him alive as if he finds that kill. Radiant structures are fortified. And uh, I can't look at the death throne right now, but I'm pretty sure it was the poison touch that secured that kill. Secular underneath this tier one tower. Actually, he's going to try and go into Fenrir. Fenrir moves back. Yeah, he's just going to be taking the tier one tower and these creeps underneath it now as well, putting the pressure on. So I'll throw in the daggers, the right clicks, as well as the tower damage. Secular doesn't care. He's just going to be tanking this up and really pulling this lane behind. Fenrir's going to try and do what he can with a double breath. Daggers flying through now as well, slows Secular down to a crawl. But Secular. Right clicks, yes, yeah, Secular. Is he going to be able to get himself away? The Inkswell comes through, Silas trying to do what he can now as well, but the Sanity's Eclipse. Picks up that kill on the bottom lane. They might be able to find themselves another one as well. Epicenter being channeled. Mint being slowed down. The Sandstorm comes through now as well. Just needs anything to secure this kill. But Mint might regen through it. Will regen through it as they do pick up the kill now onto Bobica. And now Sand King trapped into No Man's Land. XSS tries to run himself away. So close yet so far to that Blink Dagger. He's been silenced and killed off the... If he picks up the kill. 6 to 8. And a double kill for the Scarath Mage. Secure, gone for the double braces into the ring of health. Actually, what's this gonna be? He's got the chainmail. I need to know what this new build is. Is it the blade mail? Looks like it is. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Well, maybe not. This is gonna be the stampede coming through now as well. Is he gonna be able to get himself away here? Salad trapped in the ink, so it's gonna be stunning up, but the ice pass comes through. Secular gets the stomp off. He's gonna be able to two heroes so that equilibrium might go off pretty quick. Secular is he gonna be able to get himself away from this as an asshole imprisonment? He's gonna be slowed down, imprisoned up as the stroke comes through. Nah, it's not going to go for the imprisonment, just for the right clicks and secular with the one charge. Is it gonna be enough to stomp actually onto the Phantom Assassin? He's still seeing the one more right click. It's gonna be secured there by Lover. Yeah, Bing couldn't really come in without putting himself in danger. I should go for a brace for himself. What oh, is this build? Is he going to go for the Vanguard? Anything onto the Curry? It's actually going to be a Kyra onto If You. Yeah, like I said, the three Null Tallies picks up the Kyra now as well. That is 9% spell amplification off those and another 8 off the Kyra. Yeah, let's watch some heroes melt, shall we? If You. Level 10 again. Still no points into the Mystic Fleur, but the silence comes out. This is a dead Phantom Assassin. Can't miss if you don't right click. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. 
So if you... That's one prism is going to be going out. That is a lot of damage even onto an outroll devourer. Does he try and turn this one around? The right click is going to be Fenrir as well as Bobica, but the relocate is going to come in from behind. And now the ice path with the epicenter being channeled now as well. XXS is going to be able to get himself away from this. He's been slowed down. Right clicked as well. The rocket barrage comes through. This is going to be Lover trapped in between four heroes on the side of the Radiant. Can he get a kill though before he goes out? He might get a kill and be able to get himself out as well. It's going to be going in the way of Asta as he take down three heroes, seven to twelve. Even if we pick those up, it's going to be a good spread. And this tier 1 tower in the mid lane will be sieged down. As Asta, 7 to 12, 6k net worth advantage. Pick this one up. Phantom Assassin's got the two Wraith bands. Anything on the courier? Ooh, who's that for? Fenrir. Okay. Secular will get a tier 1 tower on the top lane while all this is going down, but it means he wasn't in that team fight to help out his team. And I think that was a 5v4, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the Blink Dagger's up now for the Sand King. He's actually going to be working his way, so this is going to be a, is it at least going to be the Hood. Maybe he goes for the pipe afterwards as well. And that's really going to help out against the Scarath Mage, actually. And don't forget, this was an offlane Sand King. Who is top of the net worth. Absolutely destroying the Gyrocopter, the Mint. Only on 3.5. He's 3,000 gold behind this offlane Sand King. That is not what you want. Especially when you're looking for this Gyrocopter to carry you into the late game against the Phantom Assassin. Who can just jump onto the IO and... Yeah, he's actually going to go for the Desolator. He's picked up the 150 health instead of the 15 armor. Just maybe because of the early threat coming out from Secular. Um, couldn't go for that Battle Fury, really. Just didn't have the space to get it. This Centaur was always putting him under pressure. New XSS. Four points into the Sandstorm. Cleaning through creep waves like the nothing. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. You've been putting pressure onto the T2 tower 14 minutes, 14 and a half minutes in. They could group up here if asked to find a good team fight. That's going to be at least a tier 2 tower. With two of them being exposed, one of them being pushed up constantly there as well. You always, when you get this chance, want to take a fight close, as close to an objective as possible. Might even go for the final tier 1 tower on the, t the, uh, the top lane. A secular XSS comes in with the standstorm. There's going to be the Boros Strike in now as well. Secular Ice Path is going to be off the mark as the Stampede comes out. He's still so slow though. Scarath Mage hides himself in the trees. Yeah, the TPs are going to be there. And Bing, it's not where you want to be, buddy. XSS is in behind. Again, yeah, it looks like they are going to go for this tier 1 tower, just cleaning off this creep wave. And everybody is moving up to this tier 1 tower now as well. Centaur might try and do what he can, but he's not got himself the regen boots. Actually go for the phase boots, the shrine's already been going to be popped. That is a poor, poor Centaur. Just wanted to go to the shrine, feel healthy. And his friends deny him. Yeah, Bing's gonna TP himself away. Top tower is under so it looks like they want to group up the tier 2 tower. Bing actually went back to the tier 3. Radiant's Just gonna be throwing the stroke out, trying to do what he can to try and delay this, but this tier 2 tower should go down. Might be traded off for a tier 1, which is getting now worked on by the side of Team Tai Chi. Sorry. As, uh. Yeah, they take the tier 2 tower. Phantom Assassin just TPs himself away, got that Desolator now as well, it's a whole load of damage, especially when you're talking crits. Is he going to be able to survive through this? So if he's going to try and get up, the Mystic Flow comes through as well, the Silence. But Sila, Phantom Assassin, does he survive through this? I think that will be a kill. And if you though, might put himself in danger, lover. <laughs> Copying the the build. Scarf actually went for the Karen Sanj. So it's a little bit more survivability. A bit of status resist in there as well.
That's mid lane. Secular is just always in front of this. The Gyrocopter is looking to catch up and now... But yeah, now that he has a, put, a couple points into the flat cannon, he's doing a decent amount of damage as well. Should be able to quickly catch up. 5.3k. Still about 3,000, 2,600 behind the Sand King. But eventually, with the flat cannon, with being able to just farm so fast, this should catch up. So maybe Aster want to look to end sooner rather than later. Phantom Assassin. Come for the power treads. With the plus 16 damage, with that yeah, with that damage now, you can opt to uh, take that 150 health instead of the 15 damage just because of the power treads. Obviously, a little bit more survivability now as well. The smoke comes through. The C roughly. PA is blurred up. XSS, he can see Dow. Does he go for the blink? Is he going to go for the blink? Double burrow. He actually gets both of them now. The poison touch comes out as well as the ice path. And Mint needs to run himself away. Dow. He's going to go for the relocation back to the fountain. But if he's already going to be able to take down Ferrier, as Bing will go down to Sarah. The right clicks onto Secular now as well. Sanity's Eclipse will find that kill. And Lover. Oh, the bonus strike, it's going to be in there in time as well. The Poison Touch comes out once again. The cooldown, though, XXS might not be able to get himself away from this. Will be killed off. And now Lover's going to be able to force staff himself forward. Is he going to be able to get the kill into down? Silenced up by that seal. And the return kill comes out. This is actually going to be a good one for Tai Chi. Babaka might go down now as well. Silence looking for the TP. But this should be a team wipe. Gets the TP out just in time. Will be able to pop the shrine. Yeah, and because they couldn't find that IO straight away with the Gyrocopter, he just gets the instant relocate out. There's no more stuns to deal with him, and a Mint Dao come back into this fight. And are just able to rock it. Picking up four kills. Oh, it was a buyback. Buyback from the IO. But still. It's three for four. And every little helps, really, at this point for Team Tai Chi. Tai Chi Gaming. Dagger flies through Bing. He's going to be jumped on the right clicks come through now as well. XSS was just waiting, just in case. He's going to be able to find the Boros Strike now as well. Sentai Warren being slowed down. The Dagger's going to slow him down once again to a crawl. Ice Path give a good measure. But Bubba will pick up the kill. And Roshan's being attempted. Do they have an envision on this? It looks like the creeps will see Bobaka, maybe even the sandstorm here as well. But that's instant be being dealt with. There's going to be the pings coming out. What's the win chance percentage here? It's like a, what, 80? 90%? Yeah, Roshan will be done. Mystic Flur comes out, so if you does take down Fenrir. But Sala picks up the Aegis now as well. The relocate comes in, Stampede being used now. Lover's gonna go for the four staff. Actually turns himself around. The Stampede gets himself in range, and now the cooldown comes through with Asshole Imprisonment. Will not save his life. That is a poor lover. And Mint secures the kill, which helps him on his way. Now 9k net worth over the Sand King. I told you he'd catch up quick. I own level 12, so no scepter bonus just yet. Um, and there's a whole load of heroes you can drop the scepter on here as well. You drop it on Mint for that side gunner. You've got Ifu, so he's casting double spells, even the Stampede, so you can get over terrain. You can throw it onto the Centaur Warrior for that Axe effect. Wait for that to wear off and instantly tether to the Gyrocopter for the fight. Circular waiting. The smoke's coming through as well. Sila knows this hero's missing. Yeah, he's got the team behind him backing him up, but if he shows here, which maybe he does as bait, this could be highly dangerous as there was a relocate there as well. Yet yeah, they see this going down, so they know this hero's about. 
FPA. DKB's picked up, Blur's there now as well. If you... He's actually going to go for the Axe Scepter of his own. Already got the Ghost Scepter just in case he gets jumped on by the PA. Needs to be careful though if there's a... Um, pretty much literally anyone else around. Dyer's top tower is under attack. That can throw a whole load of magic damage. But smoke comes out. There's going to be the Blink Forward as well. It's going to be onto the Centaur. A tanky tanky boy. There's going to be the Ice Path comes through now as well. But Sila picks up that kill. The cooldown comes through and even the Rocket Home and Missile. Onto XXS. If you, the BKB is going to be popped yet, yeah, there's going to be the Ghost Scepter coming out. So if you can be right click, but the Burrow Strike does come through. And now that Phantom as well, but if you will be locked down by the Ice Path. So Sila picks up another kill. Double going his way. Now this tier 2 tower could be in a lot of trouble. No buybacks on both heroes on the side of Tai Chi Gaming. So the tower being right clicked down. All five heroes from the side of Asta. Just stacking up. Did they go for tier 3? Does he still have the Aegis? It looks like they just want to try and firm out the Radiant side of the map. And Mint. I was talking about his net worth, but the items he's got... Not really that impressive. When you look at it, triple Wraith Bands, Drums and a Maelstrom. 23 minutes in, you compare that to the PA. That's BKB, Desolator, Aegis. Okay. Aegis isn't really something you pick up with gold, but you know what I mean. Silent, the homing missile, is going to be channeled onto him. But he's far enough back that this shouldn't be a problem yet. Yeah, he's going to be able to get himself to the high ground, even heals up a little bit. Oh, now this is a problem. XXS comes in. There's going to be the relocate now as well. Sand King, don't think he gets himself out of this. The rest of the team slowly getting there. The Ice Path is actually going to be onto two. The Daggers flies through now as well. The Mystic Flow, though, should be able to secure the kill. Just barely Sand King surviving through this. And now the cooldown should finish the kill. Will finish the kill if you don't need to be careful. The Sanity's Eclipse doesn't really do that much damage. But, Sala, there's going to be a Dagger in another couple of seconds to go. Scepter does wear off now as well. The uphill miss, but the Dire from the Phantom Assassin wants to go for this. Still has the Aegis. Aegis is going to be popped. It's going to be one for one. One for one. Well, the buyback coming through now as well. Lover with a shallow grave. They are going to be proccing the Aegis. And a three-man ice path, though. It leaves Sala in no man's land. Is he going to be able to dive away to his heroes? Gets himself away to Fenrir. And Mint Cannon wants to carry on chasing him. And Missile being channeled. Lover with no health. He shouldn't be able to try and turn this one around. Ice path does still catch the Jarrowcops. And it could be Fenrir paying the price for this. So a two for two. And buyback on, I'm pretty sure, if you bought back there as well. A 3 for 2. Yeah, Aegis went down. So 3 for 2 is fair to say. Let's take a look at the Gyrocopter now. He's got his BKB up, that's big. He's got another one. Yeah, okay, changes that off. That's MKB, right? That is... Yeah, it's MKB. Shrine. Just being used to keep the IO healthy uh, with that overcharge. But I think, if we take a look at the uh, the win percentage now, it's still right in the favour of Team Master, even though 16 to 21, 5k net worth lead, it's not a massive gap, and you have this IO, IO Gyrocopter combination. If he's going to go through the TP just clearing off this mid lane, he needs to, yeah, it is pushing in. But this could leave the rest of his team in trouble. The dagger flies through. Mint BKB's up for both heroes. I'm pretty sure the stomp comes through onto Fenrir. There's going to be Burrow Strike as well. BKB being popped and looks like Secular might go down. Silo wants to pick up this kill. He's going to get at least one of those. Popped to BKB for it. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. 
Now working his way towards the Basha, the T2 tower being worked on by the creeps. And this TP away, they know this is happening to Roshan. It's going to be at least a minute and 10 seconds before he's back up. Crimson got it. was just a little bit short on the Boros Strike for Ifu, and now Ifu, Ice Path as well. If Ifu got caught out though, that potentially opens up because he's bought back. So it opens up the pressure onto the tier 2 tower. Though it would have taken the Team Master a little bit of time to get down there. Maybe they just looked through the Radiant Jungle for another pick off. What's the vision like for both teams? They see the Skyrath. Just comes out of the shadows there as now as well. The blink forward XSS is going to be able to get in range of the Boros Strike. He's going to be able to pick up some secular ice path picks up two now as well with the Macro Pyre. Mystic Flur comes out, but the XSS already picks a kill, and now it's going to be secular down once again. BKB is being popped. The Shell Grave comes out to Bubaka. Bubaka just needs to try and do what he can to heal himself up. The cooldown is it going to be Astral Imprisonment going to be able to keep him alive through that cooldown? <laughs> and Dow takes him down anyway, but this puts him in trouble. Yeah, Sila with the crit. So two heroes down, three heroes down, but one with a buyback. And now all Aston need to do is wait for this creep wave to come in. The blink borrow is here. It's actually going to be able to catch up the Grimstroke now as well with the Ice Path as well. Picks up another kill, so three heroes down, one hero buys back. And tier three tower creep wave is here. Under trouble, the crit comes out from Sila, who's gone for the triple stifling dagger and the 30% cleave. And now Jaro comes to Sandy's Eclipse. Mint stood no chance. So Phantom Assassin actually opting for the Desolator as well as the Skull Basher, and then that 30% cleave. And XSS pain. Sorry, playing Doorman. Making sure Secular as well as Io can get forward. That's going to be at least one lane of racks. Is it going to be two? Can they get this tier 3 tower in time? It looks like they should be able to. Yeah, and now this opens up the racks. No Jaro. Or. Skyrath for 20 seconds. The daggers fly through now as well. The actually gets the stun onto the IO. And this is going to be a second land of racks, thankfully for Team Tai Chi. Can't be a third, but they might just go for the end here. The daggers fly through. The jump could come through onto the Centaur Warrior now as well as the Ice Path. And he is down for 45. Dow being slowed down. The Ghost Scepter on him comes through now as well, so they can't dive on him. Maybe you want to try and turn this one around. Sala pops the BKB, dives forward, takes down the Grimstroke, and now it's going to be a double bow strike as well as the Ice Path. They are going to be able to take down the IO, but Mint with the BKB, what's he going to be able to do here? If you back them up now as well, XSS looking for that Sandstorm, just gets himself out of that pressure coming through from the Gyrocopter. But it looks like, yeah, 30 minutes in. Bubaka, GG is going to be called the by if you. So, that is going to be game number one of six games we have today. We will be coming back with Asta versus Tai Chi Gaming. Game number two will be underway shortly. But for now, we're going to take a quick break, play some music. You know, update the score, you have a nice screen to look at, and uh, we'll be back with game number two when it does 